Well, during the month of May, News 6 continues our commitment to bring you stories about the importance of mental health awareness. Yeah, the initiative has brought several alarming statistics to light, including the record number of drug overdose deaths last year. Tonight, News 6 morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor looks at the subject of a dual diagnosis and the commitment by local counties to get results for your health. There's a mental health crisis that goes along with it because you cannot be addicted to a substance and not also have the co-occurring, co-present of mental health and condition. Seminole County Sheriff Dennis Lima addressing the mental health crisis during an interview on The Weekly with Justin Warmoth. COVID has only made that situation worse. Drug overdose deaths in the U.S. topped 100,000 in 2021, according to the Centers for Disease Control. As providers work on prevention and access to treatment, the stigma surrounding mental illness is being challenged. LSF Health Systems provides free clinical support in Flagler, Volusia, Lake Sumter, and Marion counties. We want to break that stigma. We are the safety net system. And so for those individuals that live with mental health, substance abuse, or both. Substance use disorder, or the misuse of drugs or alcohol, was identified in 17 million adults also living with mental illness in 2020. While some would consider the majority of deaths accidental, Sheriff Lima says he treats any overdose as a crime. Yeah, I've never met anyone who's intended to overdose, right? Yeah. So what I, what I think we do is we treat every overdose situation as a crime. Behind every single person that overdoses, we can use evidence and gather information from, from them and their family members that leads us back to the drug dealer. In Seminole County, Sheriff Lima says they've charged over 30 drug dealers accused of selling fentanyl-laced drugs with first-degree murder. It's a step, he says, is part of breaking the cycle. Getting results for your health, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.